I am uh, William Canary. Uh, I'm with the Business Council of Alabama. I serve as its president and CEO. Well, I've been very blessed uh, to be a part of the truck industry for nearly three years. I was the head of the American Trucking Associations and worked very closely over those years with uh, organizations like the Alabama Trucking Association and through the leadership of individuals like Frank Philco. Uh, we did so many great things at the national level during that time and, uh, and tried to put forth the importance of trucking uh, nationally and also during a time of, of trouble. I was the president during the, after the attack on America. So difficult times, but trucking industry rose to the occasion. I guess simply put, we could not have economic growth without the trucking industry. They transport our goods, they transport uh, products, uh, products into industry, uh, products manufactured out. Uh, it, it, we, we couldn't have economic growth in our state without the trucking industry. The Alliance for Alabama's Infrastructure was established in December of 2015. Uh, it consists of a group of um, community and business leaders from throughout the state of Alabama brought together solely around the purpose of adequately funding our transportation system in Alabama. Our roads are really our arteries of commerce. If you, if you got it, it was brought by a truck. The truck industry is vital to everyone's well-being in the, every community, in every part of our state. Um, great people are involved in that industry, hardworking people. Uh, the industry is one of which, as I indicated earlier, creates 100,000 plus jobs and deposits over a half a billion dollars annually in the Education Trust Fund. That makes them a significant player on the field of economic opportunity in our state. In my district where I live in Northwest Alabama, the trucking industry is very important, whether you're hauling cargo through or whether you're hauling coal from one location to another. Uh, it's a big industry, it's a big business. We've got a lot of natural resources in our area and there's all kinds of transportation flowing through our communities and our areas that's very important to commerce. So we love the truckers, we want them to keep on rolling. It's been our privilege to work and represent the Alabama Trucking Association for the last two years. Uh, it's been a great client, a great relationship, and we appreciate uh, the trust in us. Well, 2017 has some 500 bills introduced thus far, and about 25 of those bills have some effect on the Alabama Trucking Association, some more than others. Uh, we try to maintain a defensive position and try to look out for any bill that would be adverse to the industry, but we also try to be proactive and move forward on bills that would be helpful to the industry. And there are about four of those in the process this year. One of the main issues that the trucking industry faces as far as um, you know, infrastructure goes is congestion issues. Uh, congestion issues cost the trucking industry an inordinate amount of money each year uh, as far as, you know, uh, loss of time as far as shipping goods to uh, point A to point B and so you know it's 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 um, it's imperative for us as a state to invest in those areas where congestion problems uh, occur each year and so, so we can allow the free flow of goods um, at, a, at, a, at a higher rate. We have to spend money more money on our infrastructure congestion is killing our industry so we have to go that route. Secondly we are advocating a towing bill which gives us an appeal process whereby we can contest some of the outrageous invoices and bills we're getting from the towing industry. Uh, it's an issue to where we're just trying to have uh, appropriate uh, guidelines, if you will, for ALEA as they work with truckers that may have accidents or issues on the roadways and also with the towing industry which helps clean up some of the issues after there were to be some mishap just to make sure that there's a clean, clear methodology for all those groups to work together. Well, in the Alabama legislature, it's not always logical. It's not always predictable. So it may take you a couple of years to accomplish a goal in the body. And we try to work at that process every day to get the job done. One of the bills that we were successful on during the last legislative session was passage of a bill relating to cargo theft for the trucking industry. Uh, we also worked on the highway program for the state. Alabama has a huge infrastructure problem, but when you're dealing with gasoline and diesel taxes, you want to have a balance and you want to be fair. You want to make sure that the truckers are treated properly, the trucking industry is treated properly. So we worked on that last session and we'll continue to work on that bill. Well, any piece of legislation that we work on to include uh, revenue measures that we face, it's always good to have the people 
that know the industry at the table. And uh, uh, Frank Figo uh, has, has been there with us. He's been at the table helping to educate, which is very important, helping to educate legislators on number one, the trucking industry, number two, what they do for the state of Alabama, and also to give us input into the plans that we need to try to put together so we can prepare legislation to move us forward. If every group had as much focus on trying to move issues forward specific to their industry, then we would all have a whole lot more information in the State House in Montgomery. Well, many, many years ago, I've learned a lesson from my good friend, Frank Filco, that the three most important things in trucking is safety, safety, safety. We are working hard now to get our legislators and others to invest in our infrastructure, which is critical to both safety and to the economic movement of goods in our state. And we're gonna fight hard for that, and we are perfectly aligned, and the trucking industry really plays a major role in that. They deposit all, close to 40% of the revenue into the fuel tax structure. So they are the big players on the field. By the end of the session this year, we are gonna look back and say that we passed another bill, that's gonna be the towing industry bill. We're gonna have an appeals process there. We're gonna look back and say that yes, we did, our highway user money did go to um, projects to build better roads and better bridges in the state of Alabama. And we kept the earmarks of all highway user fees going toward local enforcement and also for road construction. So if we can do that at the end of the year, we would have been successful.